All right, back with another mining video. Uh, this one's going to be going over Radiant uh, for the RTX 4080. Uh, we're going to be using BZ Miner for the miner. <clears throat> and then, where is she at? Here we go. Um, for the pool, we're going to be using Wooly Pooly. If this doesn't work, I think it switches on over to Viper.net. Um, we're going to be mining to an exchange, which I do not recommend. But... Uh, if your US trade ogre and Zegex are probably the best with no BS, I'd say CoinX, but US uh, miners got banned. Um, so you'd have to use a VPN, but CoinX is good too. Um, <clears throat> as for the memory type, uh, majority of the 40 series, or at least the non TI and the TI variants should be micron uh except for the 4060 which i believe or at least the one that i have is sinix hynix and the 4060 ti might be hynix i'm not too sure on the super series but uh for the power draw for the gpu we're getting about 24 to 26 for the whole entire system it's uh roughly around like 160 watts so not including the GPU uh, at the wall reading, it's going to be like an additional 140 watts. But uh, <clears throat> beside the point, let's uh, jump into Radiant. Uh, <clears throat> so for the standard hash rate, uh, with just these two programs up, uh, Afterburner and the Miner, and monitors off, I was getting a reading of or a hash rate of 2,155.96 to 2,156.85 <clears throat> with a power draw, or rather, power draw of 293. 93 watts to 294 watts reported on the software and then at the wall currently am getting jesus christ uh, 396 to 398 watts so <laughs> sipping on electricity like water um let's go ahead and dive into the thermals uh right now it's like 64 fahrenheit in my home and 34 fahrenheit outside but uh this should give us an efficiency of uh about 7.33 to 7.34 for the efficiency uh oh look already a new update that was quick anywho uh so we've got a regular temperature of 56 to 57 C, a memory rejection temperature of looks like 38 to 40 C, and a hot spot of 72 to 73 C. So, I don't know if it's still kind of warming up, but not too hot. Um, so, we're going to jump into the actual overclock. So, we're going to come on over here. We're going to go ahead and edit. And we're going to put in a memory lock of 810. Go ahead and save that bad boy. And then we're going to come on over here real quick to the afterburner. And uh, we're going to go ahead and look for... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. No, that should be right here. Oh, no. I think I was off. No. Uh, here we go. <laughs> We're going to do a core lock of 920 millivolts at 2400 megahertz. And then we're going to do a core offset of plus 350. Now, uh, this ran stable. Uh, but since I am recording, I might get uh, artifacting, <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and try that out anyway. Um, now, there is one problem with BZ Miner. For whatever reason, you kind of got to wait until you start the miner 
I've noticed for the um, overclock to actually take effect for whatever reason. So let me just go ahead. Yeah, it did it right there. I don't know why it does that, but whatever. Um, so with this overclock, I was getting a hash rate of... Again, this is with just these two programs, obviously, and monitor is off, but a hash rate of 2,169.35 mega hash to 2,177.56 mega hash with a power draw of 197 to 199 for the power draw reported on the software and then at the wall. Currently getting 257 to 200 and looks like 62, no, 67 fluctuating at the wall. Excuse me. Uh, this should give us a effective efficiency of 10.87 to 10.98 for the efficiency. But... Let's go ahead and jump back into the thermals. There will be a link down in the description of this same overclock with the actual hash rate and it showing it ran smooth for uh, an hour plus for testimonial. Uh, but we are getting a temperature of looks like 33 C to all the way up to 41 C, uh, memory rejection temperature of 30 C to 32 C and a hotspot of looks like 45 to 50 C for a hotspot. So running really cool after that. Um, but that is pretty much the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching again testimonial down in the description but anyway bye